Well, you know, to be perfectly honest, it was about, I think this idea of like balance was everything, you know, this idea of political balance, you know, sort of not mockery of anything, but actual statement of something, you know, was a very important part of who I was and who I am as a designer. And I often think that that's what women relate to, you know. Um, also, I'm a crowd pleaser. I, ne I always made clothes to actually, they were, it was always an act of reaching out and sort of, you know, kind of grabbing someone and saying, look at this, you know, as opposed to alienation, which I know some people do, and it's part of what they do, and I respect and love some of those clothes, too. Do you know what I mean? But my clothes were always quite friendly and quite, like, um, what, crowd-pleasing, you know? A big thing on a Jewish mother's mind all the time is fashion, you know? And it was in my house growing up, and I had sisters, and it was really important to dress them. It was kind of the central theme, of, it was the central motivating theme of the house. You know, my father was in the dress business. He was actually not in the dress business, but the children's clothing business. My mother, you know, she was practically like a professional shopper, like that was her thing. She was always in one store or other, you know, and always doing some kind of crazy comparison or survey of some kind of her own, you know. There were stacks of fashion magazines, you know. And so I couldn't really avoid the thought. I couldn't really avoid it.